Hello, my name is Sean Johnson. I'm a technical support engineer with Go Engineer, and in this video I will show a couple of quick tips on how to reuse bill of material and balloon information in drawing annotations. Here we have a basic assembly consisting of some hardware and a pair of plates. I want to call out in the notes section of this drawing the material and finish for the plates. To add the balloon to the note, I simply double click to edit the note then click on the desired balloon and it is linked into the note. These are going to be 6061 T6 aluminum and they will be hard black anodized per the appropriate mill spec. Another item I wish to call out in the notes is the wave spring. I'm not 100% certain how we're going to describe it, so I've put a placeholder description in the file properties. Rather than coming back to manually update my notes, once the description is settled upon, I'm going to link this description from the bill of materials so that the note updates as the part does. We want to avoid overloading the spring during assembly and the design may change to include more of them, so I'm going to link both the description and the quantity fields from the bill of materials. To do this, once again, I edit the notes, add my initial text, Then click on the Link Table Cell button in the Note Properties dialog. And click on the desired cell. The text is added, and I can add my quantity callout as well. Be sure to deselect the button when finished. The balloon information is linked, so as I reorder the bill of materials to move the plates into the first position, the note updates. Also, Springy Thing is a, shall we say, less than professional descriptor for this part. Let's switch over to the spring and update its description. In addition, I've decided we'll likely need three of them for this design. Switching back to the drawing, the bill of materials is updated, as has the linked cell data within my notes.